Well, hello everybody. It is an action-packed day because we have quite a few updates for you. So first and foremost, we're gonna start with AI Studio. We've just pushed out a new update to our voice cloning that really takes things to the next level. Let's dive in. I am super excited to announce the latest update to Be Human's voice cloning that gives you a really fine-grained sense of control to make your voice as natural and realistic as possible. So you can see I have this template here. And if we scroll down, we can check out one of the samples. Hey, Sharif. What are you doing November 2nd? Because I have an event that I'd like to invite you to. You see, we're... All right. So you can see that the personalization there was for the first name. In this case, Hey, Sharif. And I think the voice quality there was passable. It wasn't perfect, but it was passable. However, what if I want to bring it to the next level? Well, our latest feature down here at the bottom left side of the template page allows you to do just that. So you can see here that we have all these different voice samplings that have been generated and we can play these back and let's check out the difference between each sample. Hey, Megan, what are you doing November 2nd? Okay, so that's voice one. Let's check out voice two. Hey, Megan, what are you doing November 2nd? Voice three. Hey, Megan, what are you doing November 2nd? And voice four. Hey, Megan, what are you doing November 2nd? So these are actually all different configurations of the voice. So depending on which you choose, that will be the way that your voice will generate in all your future videos from this template. So you can see we generate four for you, but if you're not happy with that and you wanna generate some more, well, you can definitely do that. Just type in name and hit generate more. And this is going to generate more samples for you with different configurations, different ways, different nuances in which the AI will then generate your voice going forward. So the idea here is you can search through these and you can find the one that you like best. For example, let's listen to voice five. Hey, Alec, what are you doing November 2nd? Not the best one. Let's check out voice six. Hey, Alec, what are you doing November 2nd? A little bit better, but not there yet. Hey Alec, what are you doing? Hey Alec, what are you doing November 2nd? Okay, that one sounded pretty good. So you see you can go through here and basically find the one that sounds best. Let's check out another example. All right, so for this template, once again, before we go ahead and generate videos, let's first start by selecting the best voice sampling that we can find. Hey Megan, how's it going? Don from Behuman. That one was pretty good. I may have spoken a little bit fast, so let's check out voice two. Hey, Megan. How's it going? Don Voice three. Hey, Megan. How's it going? Don that one was really good. So I'm going to hit save. And now, every time we generate new videos from this template, it's going to do so with that configuration. So our voice is going to sound like that. Even if we type in, you know, any name, Yasmin, for example, it's going to have the same quality, texture, and tone of voice as the sampling here that you've selected. So this gives you really extreme green control over your voice. There's no limit to how many samples you can generate. So if you really are hunting for the best quality possible when it comes to voice cloning, you can generate you know, 20, 30 of these samples, go through and really find the one that works best for you and sounds the most natural in the whole context of your speech. So if you've been having problems with the voice clone, you feel like it's not just quite there yet, I do recommend you check this feature out. It is live in the platform now. We've tested it with some users who have had trouble with their voice and they have been very happy. The second update is around persona. Let's check that out. Okay, so I'm in my persona here and you can see on the left, we've added a couple of new tabs, pronunciation and instructions. So let's start out with pronunciations. And as you might imagine, this is pretty self-explanatory. When you have a word that you want to be pronounced in a non-intuitive way, this is the place to do it. So for example, there's a really cool startup out there called We Shop. And it's spelled like this, you know, the French we and then shop. But because your persona is speaking English, in most cases, it's going to pronounce it like O-U-I shop. It's not going to say We Shop. So all we had to do is simply add in, hey, this is how you pronounce We Shop. So let's do another. Let's take Be Human, for example. So Be Human, written like this, I think most people would understand you say the letter B first and then human. But sometimes it may say Boomin instead of be human, right? So how can we correct that? Simply by writing the word as it's phonetically 
written. So let's hit save and you're done. That's it. So let's test this out. Hey, Don, how are you? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, keeping busy with all the exciting updates at Be Human. What's new with you? Anything I can help you with today? Quick question for you. What company did Carolyn start? Carolyn is the founder of WeShop. Have you had a chance to explore what they do? All right, so you can see that it was able to handle those pronunciations with a breeze. Now let's go on to the next feature, custom instructions. This is really cool because it gives you, again, that fine grain control to have your persona do exactly what you want it to do. So how this works is you can click add instructions and we can put in a URL. So for example, I can go to the Be Human website and I can put in, let's say, the URL for nonprofits. So this is the landing page that we bring nonprofits to on the site to learn about Be Human and hopefully sign up and start using the platform. Now you'll see here on the bottom left, we have my persona embedded on the entire site, which is great. What this feature allows us to do is it allows us to say, okay, on the nonprofit page, I want you to be very specific. I want you to be aware of what page you're on, who's going to be on the page. And also I want you to guide them to a desired outcome which I can set to be whatever I want it to be. So for example, perhaps for nonprofits, there's a white paper we really want them to see. So basically I can guide them through that process and bring them to see and hopefully download the white paper. And as I have a conversation with the persona on the page, it's going to guide me down that route. So let's set this up. It just takes a second. We're going to copy the URL of this particular page and just throw it in here. And automatically the persona is checking out that URL and it's learning about, okay, what's the title of the page? And I'll just say be human for nonprofits. And then what's on the page itself. And you can see there's some content here. Um, you know, I can leave this as is, or I can clean it up, up to me if I want to add more details in here. But this is the cool part. You see desired action. So here's where I can add in what I want the persona to guide the user to end up doing. So it could be sign up for Be Human, or in the example of there's a white paper we really want them to see, the desired action is to encourage users to download the white paper for nonprofits. Okay, so let's hit save. And now let's come back here and let's try it out. Hey, Don, how are you? Hello, it's Don here from Be Human. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How can I assist you today with our offerings for nonprofits? Have you had a chance to see how our personalized video messages can make an impact? Um, I actually am just exploring that now. I'm a nonprofit. I actually work in healthcare, so this is all new to me. Welcome to the exciting world of Be Human for nonprofits. It's, it's fantastic that you work in healthcare. That is a sector where our personalized AI videos can make a huge impact. If you're looking to foster deeper connections with donors or promote your events more effectively, you're in the right place. Have you considered downloading our white paper to see all the innovative ways it can help your nonprofit? That's awesome. I will definitely check out the white paper. Thanks for your help. You're very welcome. If you have any questions after reading the white paper, feel free to reach out. Are you considering any specific Be Human services for your nonprofit? All right, so there you have it. You can see that it was able to recognize what kind of page we were on, what kind of audience is going to be in that page, and more importantly, what the desired action is we want people to take. So you can imagine applying this to not just landing pages, but also customer support pages, right? If you know that a customer is having a particular problem with something, they're already on that particular support page, and therefore you can tailor your persona to be aware of that and to more effectively guide them to their solution. You can get really creative with this. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video are already getting some pretty cool ideas that even I haven't thought about. So go wild with this. It's included in persona on all plans and it's right there on the platform. So I'm sure you can see we are hard at work. We are always pushing forward to get you the latest and greatest innovations here at Be Human. So please keep the feedback coming and thank you so much for your support. Things will only continue to get better, more seamless and more powerful. We have some really cool new features coming up. I don't want to spoil it yet. Hang tight because you're going to be blown away when you see what we're working on next. Thanks for your time and I'll see you on the platform.